It's Monday, my dudes. We have got the news just rolling in from the weekend and a story that us in the office have actually been personally following for a little while, but waiting for them to be some sort of like resolution or clarity to the situation is that of Deller's entire situation that has been going on recently that is extremely unfortunate and a little bit hard to watch and to read about, to be honest, because it seems just so stressful and so awful. This all started back on February 2nd, where we saw Deller tweet to Team YouTube, my account got hacked. I have control, but the person changed my name and deleted my vids any way I could get my channel restored. His channel now seems to be called the Cardano Foundation. I don't even know how to, Cardano, Cardano, I don't know. And all of his videos pretty much seem to be wiped out. There's still a few on there, which is weird to begin with. And then he has one streamed video from the Cardano Foundation. You're not guaranteed, uh, Ada. You're participating in a process and you have to do work to get it. To finish off today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at a quick little price analysis. And if I show you an update of this chart, personally at the minute, I think we are still in bullish territory for Cardano. We are still above the levels of 35 cents and we have been consolidating around these levels for quite a while now. And I mean, of course the hacks did not stop there by absolutely any means. I mean, once people have access to your main email account that's connected to every single account you own, they had access to his, you know, Robinhood, his bank accounts, Epic Games, everything that he had pretty much, whether it's social accounts even, like social media, um, of TikTok, Instagram, all those sorts of things were compromised. Deller told us that it was over 200 accounts that were compromised. And I mean, just imagine, I mean, having your main email. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people will have just that one email address that's connected to all of their accounts. And so someone gets into that, they've got everything. They're able to hack through everything that you have. I got hacked, as you guys know. Um, they pretty much, they almost took everything. Um, they locked me out of my bank accounts. They locked me out of my phone accounts. They tried to shut my phone down. Um, they locked me out of my utility accounts. I couldn't pay my rent. Um, they compromised everything that I've ever had. Basically, they have, any piece of information that I have put out there on the internet, uh, these guys got and they took. So these are all my, well, not all of them. This is like half my smart devices and shit. I spent... I spent hundreds of hours configuring all this stuff to make it all work how I wanted it. And it's all f gone. All my computers are gone. My entire stream setup is gone. My ob settings are gone. My tax documents are gone. All of my income is gone. No, I didn't get robbed. Um, I had a virus on my computer that... Basically, uh, it was a remote access Trojan. It was a rat file, and uh, this file could see and hear everything that I did, and uh, it key logged everything that I did. It jumped to all my drives. It jumped across my whole network and compromised all my uh, all my computers and devices. But still, like ninety percent of my accounts online are still uh, locked behind my my Gmail and my YouTube account. So. I told YouTube at the start to just keep it locked or whatever. Um, I didn't. I didn't care because I I needed them to keep it locked so I could lock like focus on my other stuff and get get my life back together. But uh, I'm at the point now where I've done everything that I can. Um, there's there's quite literally nothing else that I can do to prepare for this and to secure my my accounts and stuff. I've learned security from the ground up and I rebuilt everything and I'm I'm good to go. I want my account back now. Um, I, I put in a ticket four days ago or three days ago, I can't remember, and I, I haven't heard anything back at all. Um, I'm starting to get pretty scared that I'm not going to get my account back. And I mean, that's just bad news bears for anyone at all, but especially for someone like a content creator who makes their entire living online and through those social accounts. Deller seems to have to had to send away all of his equipment because it was compromised and he's left with pretty much nothing from what we can see. I think Deller did the right thing in getting the FBI involved. And though some people might find it annoying that he's tweeting all these supports uh, on Twitter, it seems like he's just trying to use this platform that is at his disposal to get help in this situation. 
but he did go to the FBI, like I said. The weirdest part for me, I think, is just the lack of response that we've seen. Whether it's from the community or from the support teams, I we saw Team YouTube respond to the first tweet, but after that, we haven't seen anything since. And the only really content creator I've seen respond has been Ray, who said that she would ask people at YouTube for him. But besides her, we seem to not really have any response from the community, which just feels kind of weird or uncomfortable to me. I don't know. It just feels like people are looking the other way. And I don't love that because it just feels weird, right? It just feels kind of strange to me that people are just going to look the other way when a content creator seems to have lost everything. No one's helping them reach out. And so I'm curious what is actually going on in the background, especially like with Team YouTube and where things are landing, because I know that I'm ignorant to these kinds of things. I don't know a whole lot about technology or Trojans, rat files, that sort of thing. And so I don't know how complicated this is on Team YouTube side to make sure things are verified and safe for Deller on his return. I think I would like to have faith in them and say, they're probably working on this. It's probably more complicated than it seems on the front end, but also you could provide some form of communication Although that might be difficult too, because they might feel like the communication could be at risk as well. And so I don't know. I'm thinking it's just more complicated. We haven't heard anything else from them. And this is the last message we've heard from Deller. Okay, look, man, Team YouTube just told me that they still haven't received anything from me. It's been over a week. I've put in multiple reports. I've been talking to my contacts personally within YouTube. I've done everything that I can. I've talked to Team YouTube on Twitter. I, I've explained to everyone the exact step-by-step -step process that I'm doing to report this stuff. How can I not get my channel back, man? I've done everything that I can, and you guys haven't received anything from me? Nothing? It's been over a week, and you guys haven't even gotten my email yet? What is happening? I, I'm actually getting scared that I'm going to have to delete and start over my entire life, man. What is happening? Please, what is happening, dude? I've talked to everyone. I've done everything that I can. Please help me. YouTube, please. I mean, I don't know how to help. I wish the best for Deller, uh, and I hope that things go well for him and that they are resolved quickly. Until next time, Howards, be safe, be smart, behave, and I'll catch you later.